Yeah. Change his life. Yeah. Change his life. Yeah. Change my life. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay. I'll kick it off, Chris, and you butt in when you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. Back on fire up with Chris Gale, myself, Stephen Ferris, and the great Benny Elias. Now, let's stepping back in time, Benny. I want to mm -hmm. know a couple of things. When exactly did the contested scrum finish? I can't quite locate the year or the decision. 1993. 93. <laughs> yeah, 93, and they became uh, competitive. They were now competitive. They were not competitive because the game said we needed to flow the game on, and they were wasting too much time, which I agree, by the way. Resetting. Yeah, penalties. they were resetting, mm -hmm. and, you know, and it was a lot of arty farty to be, starting to become like rugby. So you yeah. have to keep your legs in, no, no, no sticking, no, no, no punches thrown. No, no, no. <laughs> no well, that, was, that was the place where you could almost get away with it. Yeah. And you, <laughs> Safe there, there is one famous incident with Mario Fennec. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, that was, that was one of the moments. I was there for that game. Yeah. <laughs> Explain to the people, Chris, what's that? Well, like? no, Benny was probably, he was there, I wasn't there. I've seen the footage. Was a, it was a playoff game against our city at the city cricket ground, right? 87, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, I feel 86, was it? 87. Maybe. It was a scrum, correct? Well, awesome. before the scrum, I said to Blocker, I said, Blocky, yeah. I need you to put a stink on the next, <laughs> next, <laughs> next scrum. Love and Blocker it. looks at me, winks me, says, B.E., yeah, yes, there he goes tonight, you should be the captain. Of course I'll put a stink on. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, South City knocked the ball on and, and we run to the scrum. And as I'm running to the scrum, I take my mouth guard out and I bite my right hand. Does that come instinctively? It was just one of those things, you know, when you're in nature and you you, you, you got to survive. It's one of those survival things. And we got our backs to the wall. It's South Sydney are dominating. Mm -hmm. They got us on the scoreboard. Got to do something. So we had to do something different. Mm -hmm. So I bite my hand as hard as I put my mouth guard back in. And as day goes tonight, Block and gives Les Davison the <laughs> greatest cracking uppercut I've ever seen. Why is that funny? Oh, it was just, I could hear it still now. And, boom. and it was on for young and old and there's fighting everywhere. And I flung out of the scrum and I run to Kevin Roberts and I said, Kevin, did you see what Fennick did? That dog, look at him. Look, he's bit my hand. It's bleeding again. He looked at my hand and blood's coming out Straight everywhere. Away. Straight away. And he said, Fenny, come to me. And he goes, what? And he goes, you are off and you'll be staying off for a long, long time. You're off. And sends him off. For, and he looks mystified. And Fenny just looks at me and goes, you fucking little wog. I said, I'm a wog. Have a look at you, you idiot. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> but but we, we love those rivalries, you and Mario, you and <laughs> Steve Walters. Yeah. After you retired, is there something? Is there sort of a special bond you guys have as a result of that? From or not <laughs> always. Well, I get on very well with Boxhead. Yeah. It, it's Boxhead. Funny. Yeah. Uh, Steve Walters. Yeah, Steve. <laughs> I mean, his nickname was Boxhead back then. But he, he look, I get on very well with him. Even Mario these days, we we kissed and made up a, uh, yeah. a couple of years ago, and uh, I see him quite. Was a it bit on TV? Of, no, 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 no. It was definitely not on TV. It was behind closed doors. <laughs> but it's funny how... Don't tell anyone, right? <laughs> but it, it's funny how, particularly if you're in the media, it sort of changed. Like, like you know, I was totally opposed to the Walters as a blanket oh. when I was a fan, but Kevy's adorable. And, I mean, even this week, his comment about Adam Reynolds in the lead-up to the South Broncos game, he goes, Adam's tackling well for the first time in his career. I mean, there's a sort of a sense of humour to that man that's really, really uh, lively and attractive, I think. Well, I had the pleasure of touring with Kevin Wallace. It was uh, a real pleasure. And he is such a funny, funny bloke. Mm. He really is. He's, uh, he's a great character. He's a great man for the Broncos. It's exactly what they need up there. And uh, his son's going real good at the moment also. He's playing hooker there for yeah, the Yeah, Billy's Broncos. great. Billy's uh, a real, real find and... And it's, it's sometimes very hard for a young kid with a name, you know, father's surname, Walters, and, you know, with, it's very, very tough. So everyone's under the microscope, and it's very hard to be independently sort of uh, blasé about not taking him as a, you know, as a favourite because it's your son. Yeah. And uh, I, find, I, I feel for Billy. I think Billy's a very good... Very good player, Bill, and I think his best when he's on the field. Billy was at the Tigers before he, he went up to the Broncos, yeah. and the day at Leichhardt, which was the game played uh, in the immediate um, aftermath of the passing of Tommy Radonikas, and we're mm -hmm. playing the Cowboys, and we did not have a very good first mm -hmm. half, and we're down like oh. 24 blot or something like that. Oh, yeah, I and there. I was in the corporate box area, and the Tigers... and sausage rolls. Yeah, sure. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Tigers sent in Sean Bloor and Billy Walters, Essentially to apologise and said we're going to do better in the second half, etc., etc. And Sean looked like he could wanted to be anywhere else than this. But Billy was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. And I sort of introduced him around, and one of the girls in our box is a Broncos fan. So Billy goes, "I just want to apologise for the Tigers' performance in the first half." And I said, "Oh, Billy, this is uh, Belinda. Um, she's a Broncos fan." And I said to her, 
Billy's father coaches the Broncos. He goes, oh, I want to apologise for that as well. <laughs> <laughs> now, just another question. We talked about the, yeah. the uh, contested scrum. Yes. What ever happened to shoulder pads? I don't know. Like, you had that look down pat. Yeah, I love the, I love the old yeah. shoulder pads. It and was like have... the gladiator. You know, getting dressed up and in front of the mirror, you got to put the, you put the shoulder pads, pads on, on, you put yeah. a pump on the And you had, the, you had the rocky look there for a while, didn't you? Yeah, no, like, it was good. Your hair, the yeah. mullet, the earlier had the mullet, the mullet, the mullet, yeah. Had the mullet, had the tape around the head. It, you know, it, you, it, it's like when you're dressed to go to war, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when, when you go to war, you put the, you know, like you put the well, it is yeah, in, in any 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 field. You put the costume on and you go and you go out and there you represent your your your, your team. And um, it was very special. It was a big part of preparation. Was yeah. was, was the shin pads and the shoulder yeah, pads. Right, yeah. You know the, the liniment. Shorts. Yeah, the little shorts. <laughs> well, we 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 worry about the guy who doubled down and invested in the new shoulder pad making machine just as they were phased <laughs> out. And and you mentioned the mul Are you a rugby league influencer? Benny, because uh, the mullet is it's mullet mania <laughs> it's right now. Mullet mania. Well, it is now, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's <laughs> full, full on. Without a doubt, yeah. the, uh, the way you present yourself is very important. And I see today these people, have got, they, they've got tapes all around the thing, get messages there, yeah. Christ or love or yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but it's a message out there. But, you know, it, it's, um, you know, preparation is, is nine-tenths of whatever you do. I mean, you guys prepared to come up with, I think you prepared. <laughs> no, no clear evidence of that. <laughs> but, but it's in anything you do, isn't it? Preparation is nine-tenths of, uh, nine of the battle. Yeah, and talking about uh, presentation, you were part of the team to turn the sort of mm. um, PR machine thing. Um, I, I did an event from um, Brian Walsh recently. They made a big splash with, uh, you know, ET and others, you know. Yeah. Tell me about that. Did you come across? Were you part of the shoot? Were you involved? In I the... was. Yeah, I did. I had the great pleasure of meeting a great lady, yeah. Tina Turner. And um, in '88, it was um, it was I think it was the simply the best uh, campaign in '88 and '89. Yeah. What you get is what you yeah. see. Yeah, um, well, I think it was the other way around, wasn't it? The, the other way around. The, the first one famously was. They did the shoot in England, and John Quayle had ET set up. He did, but he had to replay a game because it had been snowed in, and so. <laughs> They got Cliff Lyons and uh, was Gavin Miller. On the beach in England? No, no, no. that was in, in Gavin Miller. And so they had promised Tina that they get a really, really good looking rooster <laughs> from rugby league. And she was presented with, with Cliffy Lyons and Gavin Miller. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, This sport's in trouble, I think. I better do something here. <laughs> well, mate, but if you go back that far, and, and look, I, I, I always acknowledge John. John Quayle is yeah. probably one of the greatest administrators mm. the game's mm. ever had. Mm. Uh, and his vision and his. His ability, to, the guts to do something extraordinary with such a big price tag for, for the great lady, Tina Turner, rejuvenated her career never been also. has it? Oh, it, it's never, it, was, it hasn't been as good. Yeah. And the reason, the reason the Super League war happened is because everyone wanted to play rugby. Everyone wanted to be part of rugby league. Yeah. When you have Rupert Murdoch Who wants to be and Kerry it? Packer, yeah. mm. both of them, two of the most richest blokes in this country without yes, a doubt yes. and ambitious and ambitious mm. and they always want to get they wanted it they wanted the mantelpiece mm. and, Damn it, and rugby turner. league yeah but there was that tina turner mm. that, that 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 campaign that went for a couple of years the two different campaigns were just phenomenal oh, yeah. everyone they they introduced the women and the kids into yeah. the commercials and which was just fantastic. I'll let you in, Bill. Uh, ben, I'm, uh, I play the music for the big games for, for the NRL for the last eight years. Did you? So, so the Origins and the Grand wow. Final Series. When we come to what are we going to play for this big moment, it's always simply the best. It is. Without a doubt. Just well, not, I'm going to do something here that, that I'm going to share with you. Yeah. I, there, there's a campaign that I'd like to do yeah. for New South Wales, and it's the Bruce Springsteen Born in New South Wales. Born in New South Wales. That's right. I mean, that is the next best thing who, that I reckon. Who they we get the Hoodoo Gurus again? No, no, no John no. Stevens, mate. John, John Stevens, <laughs> mate. Without a doubt. I hope Benny was sounding pretty good right there. I think maybe you should. Uh, I'll get the backup vote. Just, just get the players to. to... Well, why, why don't they? they? They have those super groups with, you know, yeah. uh, uh, you got Brett Lee and you, you got yeah. um, Mark Carroll. Who likes yeah. playing the guitar? Um, junior, of course. You got you got um, um, Guru, the Gurus. Eric Growth. Um, Eric Growth. <laughs> Eric Growth Jr. Yeah. Mate, you got. Why don't you just compile a whole lot of old heads yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and do something extraordinary with John Stevens, who loves the game of rugby mm. league, who will do that song in a heartbeat. I can just see it yeah. and put it up on the big screen <laughs> and everyone get involved. Yes. At Homebush. You need somebody to sing along to, don't you? They nearly Absolutely. dropped the uh, Cane, Toad and Cockroach references a couple of years back. Yeah. I mean, but, the... but we will need you then to go over and negotiate with Bruce to make sure that oh, they're covered. Yeah. Very really close with the boss. You I, know. Know. <laughs> I mean, that, it, it does bring up the fact that uh, you're, there's one defining of you in State of Origin we might talk about, but your Origin career was a very storied one. I mean, you played 19 games, man, captain on six the occasions. Moment, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. you seem to be the man of the moment. You know, you picked those moments. First very, series win in five years, when in 1990 when you captained us after the 86 win, and you were there in the first series yeah, win for New South very Wales. Lucky. Turvey dropping to his knees. That's all funny, that. you know, Turvey... Turvey, I only played two games with Turvey, yeah. and that was 1985 in game number one up there at Lang Park, and then it was called Lang Park, not Suncorp, and game two at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Yeah. And both those games were the most amazing impact in my life about a, a captain. And I've had some great captains in Mal Meninga, Wayne Pearce in particular, um, all my life, uh, Wally Lewis, I've had all... But mate, there was no greater captain than, than the great Steve Wald, uh, Steve Mortimer, mm -hmm. where where Turvey, when he stopped the bus out there at the Caxton Hotel, yeah, tell me about game that. one, yeah, yeah. game one, and I and I'll never forget it as and I get I got shingles up my, I just I so really, Caxton Street is a street right here in Park, and this is what Queensland wait all year for state of origin yeah. because it's when the little brother is potentially yep. able to get the big brother, and they've won five series in a row. Game number one, Lang Park. Yeah. We've got the bus going down Caxton and he's told the bus stop driver to stop the bus. Right. And when you get in the bus driver, what are you talking about? He goes, I'm stop the fucking bus. Yeah. And the bus driver stopped the bus. Yeah. Right out front the, the side of the Caxton Hotel. And we had blues, because we, we were the Tui's blues back then. Yeah, on, the, on the, the bus as well. And, yeah, on the bus. Yeah, so yeah. they got the big strip of the Tui's blues, and they could see inside, they could see it was the players. <laughs> and they started launching cans at the bloody bus. And, <laughs> and Turvey gave us the greatest two-minute speech, yeah. where he said that, look at these bastards. Yeah, they hate us, they hate us, we've yeah. never won a series. Yeah. Here we are, we want to drop their dacks in front of their own <laughs> home crowd, and we want to make sure that... Everyone back at home who you know, your, your first girlfriend, your first mate, the first bloke you had a fight in, in the schoolyards, they're all watching us tonight. We're representing New South Wales. Now, focus on the game and, and, and tell the bus rider, now go, keep going. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, the next 400 yards, I looked around the bus and I saw Noel Clear with a, with a tear in his eye. I saw Brett Kenny all G'd up. And, you got block of roach in, you know, grit in his teeth, and there wasn't a word said. Right. From that trip, from that next 400 metres, then we walked in the dressing room, and I knew we were ready. Wow. And, mate, it was yeah. the most moving, moving feat I've ever seen or been experienced in rugby league. Right. Which was the game with MG and, and Wally? That was 1992, I think. Right. 92. So you stepped in. I was the captain cool there, yeah. It was that 91, it was 91. Right. 1991, and mate, well, mate, I'll tell you, that, that was the 38th minute of the first half, and yeah. it was pouring down with rain, and, and mate, you could see the two of the big, the, the, the big, two of the biggest names in the game of rugby league back then, just showed you how much it meant to each state. Right. And, and, and that was the true grit of yeah. state of origin, where you hated each other, and, and Fuck, we hated him. <laughs> we hated him. And MG just typified all that in that in that one minute of moments against Wally Lewis. And, and Wally gave back as much as he got. And referee Manson was right in the middle of it oh, as well. He was oh, right yeah. in the middle of it. If I told you some of the superfluities of that, that conversation there... He's, he's, it he's, should be in the National Museum. Oh, they should transcribe it. It was gold. <laughs> all right, the other great moment, of course, is these days it's just not on, doesn't go to television. If you're a pitch invader... Even with a shirt on, you know, whatever, it doesn't yeah. matter. Uh, they don't show, they don't encourage you to get fined a lot of money. Your mother, your dear mother, oh. Barbara, of course, that's the greatest moment in rugby league ever as far as PR goes. She comes onto the field. It's funny, you know, God, God bless mum, she's passed away yeah. now. Um, most famous mother in state of origin. <laughs> yeah, well, in sport. <laughs> so with 30 seconds to go, I get cut, my, my, I get cut from ear to ear. Mel Meninga's uh, stud clips me and, and opens me up like no tomorrow and I'm yeah. bleeding from ear to ear. And... Um, you know, and and pours down, and, and I got taped up, and yeah. 
and uh, well, there's 30 seconds to go before full time and there's my mother she's what the so she jumped the fence she jumped jumped the fence <laughs> no she she, 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 she went through the security yeah, God, and yeah. she's on the field must, wiping that, the blood off my she didn't give a shit about it must have flown security though to see a woman get on the field an older woman unbelievable 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 <laughs> what the hell are you doing he goes oh my she God, didn't care about the blood because she's your mother it was your mother and every mother out there Oh, can man. relate to yeah. that mother. Absolutely. I mean, your son's been opened up from yeah. ear to ear, and your she blood's to look up you. She just wanted to worry about your health. So, so it would only be if you think that she would have given her blessing for this. But forget about taking rugby league by the agency of Vegas, the US. Take that image to the oh, Americans, yeah. and the game will go through the roof. I reckon oh, they would love it. They would love it. Love Absolutely it. love it. And look, as day goes tonight, I'll tell you what they're going to do when they promote it. They're going to show every reel of every shoulder charge, every biffo that goes of on. Of course, it's something trying to ban. And these are all the things that <laughs> are banned right. that made the game so great. So the hypocrisy of all this will be deemed and shown yeah. all around the globe. Yeah. And that is what people want. The greatest, the greatest events these days we see is the UFC and the heavyweight boxing champion of the world. And what are they? They're belting the shit out of each other. And that's what people want to see, <laughs> which unfortunately. Is exactly, no, no, which, no. which is kind of why Volandis is marrying rugby league to a Vols Konoski fight and a Tim Zoo <laughs> fight. Because they can't do it on our field, so we'll do it next time. That's it, why not? <laughs> One last question in this segment. Um, Working under Alan Jones. Yep. How was that? Uh, extraordinary. Yeah. Um, JNG, I'll tell you a story about JNG. JNG rocks up in a long stretched limousine at the back of Bal <laughs> at, at the back of Leichhardt over. Wow. Yeah. Just, you love this. He one. wasn't getting paid, was he? No, no, no. Good good man. I love AJ. I love AJ like no tomorrow. He's right. one of my favourite people in the world. Right. But he rocks up in this long limousine, he opens up the door. And he gets out of the car. I mean, this, this is before Super League. We're, we're struggling. Like, we've got holes in our sand shoes and we're, we're, we're battlers. So Jonesy gets out in his three-piece suit. He's wearing a little carnation at the top of his lapel there. And he walks into the joint, you know, Italian shoes. Yeah, scent. Block goes, who the fuck's this bloke? <laughs> and Jonesy gets up there. He goes, my name is Alan Jones. I've come to this place to do something we haven't done here since 1969. And that's to win a premiership. Yeah. And mate, if you've never heard Alan Jones speak, he's one of the greatest orators that you'll ever want to hear. He's brilliant. Yeah. We've got the three grades in the dressing room. We've got the directors there. We've got the medical team. We've got everyone there. And he's talking about the history of our great club and everyone. He's riveted. Like, just everyone's riveted yeah. to what he's saying. Every, of course, he's just presenting so well. And he loved referencing himself to the great Sir Winston Churchill. In his speech, he would reference <laughs> there's quotes. A, there's a fair healthy ego. The, Sir, the, great, the great Sir Winston Churchill. He, he, he be, and he said, gentlemen, I just want to finish off by saying, the great Sir Winston Churchill once said, our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising after the fall. And I'm thinking, fuck. Patience. And I'm sitting next to Block of Rage and Block attached me on my shoulder. He goes, B.E., B.E. I said, yeah, and he goes, who the fuck did Sir Winston Churchill play for? <laughs> and I got Ciro on the other side. He's gone, I think he was related to Clive Churchill. <laughs> I thought we were in trouble. Yeah, that's right. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> did, you read, did you read the uh, True as I see you. Did you read the Adrian Zuppel? Hey? Did you read the Adrian Zuppel? The uh, no, something more than victory to you.